So I'm feeling very inspired to film right now. I actually just filmed this video and then realized it was in slow motion. So I am refilming it now. Um, my friend's on her way over, so hopefully I can get it filmed in time. But I wanna do a life update for you guys um, and just kind of explain what's happened um, since the last time I posted and since all my vacation vlogs, you know, what's been going on since I got back. And there's been a lot, um, I'm just gonna say that. The first thing is I had my spring 2021 um, eye appointment that I have. Um, typically, as long as everything's going well, I go to the eye doctor twice a year. So in the spring and the fall, I went, um, the f a few weeks ago and I did film that. So I'll go ahead and insert that footage from a vlog that never made it to the light of day. So here is that. I am ready and now we are manifesting good vibes only today at my appointment. I'm in my appointment. Just got my pressures checked. Thank goodness all went super well. It was so fast and my pressures were low, my vision was the same. Um, my left eye is 2200, my right eye is 2400. And you know, it's not great, but it's stable and that works out for me. And then they gave me a drop to take for one week because I have some inflammation, but my doctor wasn't like concerned about it. He just gave me a drop to help bring that down. And I go back in six months. So. Couldn't really ask for a better appointment. So yeah, I'm very excited that my eye pressures were low, my vision is stable. I took that drop for a week to help with the inflammation, but overall everything was a-okay, which always makes me feel really good. And then um, I turned 25 and so my brain is now fully developed. I am a fully functioning adult now and it feels really good. I had like one of the best birthdays this year, um, just surrounded by my friends and family and I just had so much fun. It was like just so much going on that week, but it was a blast. Um, and then shortly after that, something happened that I want to talk about in this life update um, and then I'll make a longer video more in depth about some some things that I want to share that kind of came from it but um, I just want to put a trigger warning I guess right here to say that if topics of depression and suicide um, and things in that um, in that theme. If anything like that is triggering to you, please click off this video because that is not my intention by any means. I just want to provide an accurate update to my life. So um, shortly after my birthday, I attempted suicide and ended up in the psych ward for a week. And that was just a whirlwind of, of a week and just, a lot to process and that's why after getting out I wanted to give myself time to make sure that I was you know back feeling good again before jumping into posting again and I also didn't know how to approach talking about it because here I am doing the happiness diaries focusing on meditating and like working and coping with my you know like in doing inner child work and like I've, I've been doing the work and I really have come such a long way and depression and anxiety and things. I didn't want to invalidate any of that because like all these videos and all of that has been so genuine and so real. Um, and I've even been so genuine in how it is, although I'm pursuing ha like finding happiness in my life, that also means trial and error and I'm obviously not perfect. And, um, and so it means that it's, you know, that's the goal, but that's not always the outcome kind of a thing. And for me, I am now realizing that I just need some extra help dealing with some of my like PTSD and my triggers because I, when you're in a trauma response, you cannot access like the frontal cortex of your brain. You cannot access the logical, you know, knowledgeable part of your brain. So although I, I'm in grad school for counseling or was in grad school for counseling, I 
you know, have so much knowledge and information about coping skills and how to handle your emotions and everything else. Like I can't get to it when it's, when I'm in a trauma response. And so for me, I need a a bigger team around me and I'm realizing like this journey of happiness and this happiness diaries, um, part of that is realizing, yeah, I can't do it on my own and I need extra help. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm in counseling once a week right now and that's already been helping a ton. I just wanna say that like suicide is not the answer to your problem. It's not an escape. It's, It's a very, very serious, serious thing to not only consider doing, but to attempt to do. And if you need help, I'm gonna put resources in the description box because please get it. Like it's it's hard to carry the weight of those thoughts and and you do not have to do it alone. And just know like there is no shame at all in asking for help and getting help and 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 talking about these things. And that's why I wanted to be very honest about it with you guys on this channel because I'm not ashamed about what I did, although I will never do it again. I recognize that it was a bad, it was a bad decision. It was reckless and it wasn't the appropriate way for me to handle what I was going through at that time. And so now I'm getting help and I'm excited. I want to live my best life. I want to live, um, you know, just, I'm very excited about what the future holds and I, I could have cheated myself of that. Um, and that's really you know, sad to me. We'll be talking more about my experience in the psych ward in the next video because um, while I was there, I was coerced into taking medication and it has really like sparked a new passion for advocacy in me. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in seeing that and you don't want to miss it, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment, start some conversation, and I'll see you guys in my next video.